Thus, it's time now to take a look at stories making headlines on the front page of Nigeria newspapers. And I begin with the Nation newspaper. The major story here, how tax reform bills will boost revenue for tiers of government by panel. Payment consolidated, the rich to pay more. Value-added tax favors states' councils. And there are some of the highlights there. Value-added tax decentralization to address states' long-standing concerns of fairness. Uh, states to get benefit from prioritized economic activities. And then 5% cut from federal government share as fiscal equalization buffer for states. Now to other stories. Stay, save us from terror group Lukarawa, Skebi State begs um, CDS as the chief of defense staff. Chief of Army Staff in Sakoto. And then another story here quickly. Vanders disrupt bulk power on another transmission line. This has become a worrisome trend. Now, stock exchange tightens rules on shares by back. St shareholders must consent. Fubara, I will still work with Okojumbo-led assembly. Kwankwaso meeting with OT Signals 2027 Alliance talks. And under 2024, Gendu J. Jimo Ibrahim solicits support for Ayeda Tiwa IG once against political interference, violence. Some stories on the front page of the Nation newspaper. Now to the front page of the Daily Times. Presidency Atiku envious of Tinubu's position, misunderstands Nigeria's current realities, says ex vice president has shown more interest in undermining president than in addressing his party's internal crisis. NLC demands swift government action on economic hardship fuel pricing. Uh, support army to secure Nigeria's territory. Acting chief of army staff uh, urges Sakwato community as Kebi government sends delegation to CDS over new terror group Lukarawas. Another downstream NAF neutralizes scores of terrorists in Kebi Zamfara. At the top corner there, 2025 budget, why presentation to National Assembly might delay till December. Some stories on the front page of the Daily Times. <clears throat> and to the Inquirer, Presidency, Atiku envious of Tinubu after six failed attempts. Interesting. And that's another story there. Abu Jabato's nutritional needs of 3,000 households. Some stories on the front page of the Abuja Inquirer. To the Nigerian Tribune, presidency gets hard on Atiku, says he's envious of Tinubu's position. And uh, NLC demands action on worsening hardship economic crisis. Nigerians groan on the high transportation cost. All right, some stories on the front page of the Nigerian Tribune. To the Voice of Liberty now. Uh, hunger crisis will hit 33.1 million Nigerians in 2025. A report is quoted as saying that, and uh, the report is by Keda Harmonies, an initiative conducted biannually across 26 states and the federal capital territory, uh, is quoted as saying that. Now, under poor political parties signed peace accord. <clears throat> Now, Tinubu gives more powers to ministers of state, grants full oversight over agencies. Battle oil mafia, NNPCL should make refineries walk. Abai Gwena is quoted as saying that. Terrorists planning to attack FCT, Benue, Imbu, for other Nigerian states. Primate Ayodili is quoted as saying that. Some stories on the front page of The Voice of Liberty. To the Daily Trust now. Cement hits 8,800 naira as cost of building materials skyrockets. Iron rod jumps from 800,000 to 1.6 million in one year. Wow. Situation dashing our hope of owning houses. Citizens are quoted as saying that. Experts blame naira depreciation transportation cost. ACF urges action as Lukarawa kills 15 in Kebi. A sad one there. Now, Governor Idris sends delegation to NSA CDSS. Terrorists may soon overtake Argungu Emirate. 
and the acting chief of army staff this is Sakoto six residents support and uh, rescue our children parents of Zamfara students in Cyprus beg governor some stories on the front page of the Daily Trust to the salient times now new terror group acting army chief visits Sakoto beg Sakoto residents to support uh, for support, rather, ACF seeks urgent action to crush new terror group. A group are just unable to halt executive gifts to judges, says it's a threat to judicial independence. NLC alleges pump price of petrol higher than market value. Another top corner, Fubara will soon present 2025 budget proposal, says Rivers Speaker. And uh, some stories there on the front page of the salient times. And to the first news newspaper, the Karawa terror threat sparks urgent military action in Sakwoto Amici of Northern Leaders Unite for Swift response to growing insurgency. December one strike looms as NLC demands minimum wage compliance. Now, new minister vows to reclaim Kanu for APC in 2027. At the top corner there, we can no blackmail will halt Abuja Shanti demolition. Some stories on the front page of the first news newspaper. To the leadership newspaper, few, ju few judges given judiciary but name, okay, CJN, wipe out Lukarawa now, northern leaders still military. Say terrorists sacking security agents, local vigilantes, troops pound bandits in Kebi. Zamfara. And uh, high cost travelers dump local agents buy foreign tickets outside Nigeria. NLC embark on strike of a new minimum wage December the 1st. Some stories on the front page of the leadership newspaper to the New Telegraph now. New Terror Gang, Iowa Consultative Forum, <coughs> once again benign neglect, says Lakarawa recruiting members with monetary incentives force. Coercing compliance with its brand of justice system calls for multinational task force, the combat group. And uh, Serap Tutinubu, giving cars houses to judges threat to judicial independence. Some stories on the front page of the New Telegraph. Theophilus. The blueprint from my end says terrorism in Northwest. <laughs> ACF talks federal government on uh, Lakurawa onslaught recruitment drive. Uh, COAS Oluyode in Sokoto. Charges troops to smoke out insurgents. Kebbi government they will need 15 million now to slain victims' families. Islamic groups move to brainstorm on tax reform bill. SCCI talks FIRS on technological innovation. Tunumbu May presents 2025 budget in December. This Nigeria says incessant national grid collapse. Stakeholders lament dwindling business fortunes. Call for a complete overhaul of power sector. Alleged corruption, sabotage has been uh, to stabilize, uh, to stability rather, in electricity. NDLEA seizes tons of illicit drugs in nine states, smashes cross-border drug syndicates, NAB six kingpins. INEX stakeholders unite for peaceful Ondo Guba election. New terror group acting army chief Oliode Storm Sakoto meets Sultan, charges troops on the battlefield. The Punch newspaper says states' debt hits 11.4 trillion naira as federal allocations rise. Foreign debt hits 4.89 billion dollars as states owe 4.27 trillion naira local debt. Lagos, Rivers, Kaduna, Delta, Edo top chart. NLC gives December uh, give governors December one deadline for for minimum wage payment. Husband arrested for allegedly setting the wife ablaze in Ogun State. Traders demand 3.4 billion naira compensation for Lagos market's demolition. The platform time says here, yeah, uh, Lagos stops health expenditure with 71.4 billion naira investments. Ikiti, Oshun, Ogun face mixed outcomes in rankings. Jakba, Ubi backs nurses relocating abroad say they'll return when Nigeria is good. Don't pass judgment in favor of friends, government. MS and tells judges, Rivers, God allowed crisis and not weak. Kubara speaks on face off with Wiki. Uh, of course, we have this and many more in the Platform Times newspaper. Let's go to Nigerian News Direct. Governors endangering perception of judiciary by giving cars houses to judges. 
Seraptos Tinubu AGF. Vandal strike again, destroy Lokoja transmission line. Liquidation, dividends, NDIC to auction, landed properties, chattels of Heritage Bank. Reverse political crisis is God's will for emancipation, says Governor Fubara. Articles constant critiques of Tinubu fueled by election defeat, says Presidency. The Help newspaper, it says, Aida Tiwa impart 77,000 with 3.3 billion naira in 10 months, says investigation. Unemployed youths elderly physically challenge top beneficiaries. Top aid, Alonga urges uh, Ondo voters to elect a governor. Childbirth gone early. Police arrest prophetess as mother, baby die in church. Varsity admission aid reversal, students, parents, hail minister. RGP bans local security from participating in Ondo election. The Guardian says delayed 2025-2027 MTF threatens budget cycle. Stop wiki governors from giving cars, houses to judges. Serap tells Tinubu. 2027, Jonathan will be Kwaku and So's name. Names resound as political jostling intensifies. Arewa groups, uh, Huriwa as Human Rights Watch, signing notch north to accept Tinubu's tax reform. Let's move to the national economy. Self, uh, less than 60 days to deadline, self-sufficiency goal for automotive sector, still a mirage. Automakers, automakers lament as forex scarcity, dwindling demand others plague industry. Federal government launches program to expand insurance access for uninsured Nigerians. Nigeria, Morocco, ECOWAS advanced $26 billion African gas pipeline project. Business morning, as business AM, Nigerians choke <coughs> on high fuel price as stakeholders battle for control. Marketers kick as Dangote fights for monopoly. Nigerian subnational battle for survival as debt portfolio rises. Lagos River's only viable state in 2023. Nature News, COP29, crucial moments as Baku's climate confab begins. FCMB initiates energy loans for households, small businesses. NEMA distributes relief items to flood victims and rivers. Nigeria scraps, uh, Nigeria scrap industry hits 200 billion naira, says waste dealers, un, uh, waste dealers employers. Fact check. Is demand for palm tree driving massive deforestation? Horticulturists introduce plant pots recycling solutions. Daily Independence. Trump's win may weaken Naira, raise debt service costs at PMS price. Despite increased aircraft airfares will remain high, says stakeholders. New minister says he was appointed to deliver Kano to APC in 2027. Acting Chief of Army Staff seeks citizens' cooperation to overcome insecurity. Ondogo Bapol, IGB bars Amoteku from election duties. Finally, uh, the Sporting Life newspaper. Nigeria versus Rwanda, November 18th. Four landing facilities delay Eagles' arrival in Uyo. Chartered flights bring team back November 15th. Yusuf Collins hits Abidjan camp. Osimen scores brace again. Lukman's goal ruled out. Silva, it will be one of the best this season. Uboye resigns as sunshine coach, cites management's interference. Messi's goal not enough to save Inter Miami. AJ won't be fit in February admits Hearn. Advantage Liverpool, superb netto strike earns Blues draw. Manchester United 3, Leicester nil. Fernandez shines as devils subdue foxes. Matt Bees hits back to claim victory. And of course, we have this and uh, many more uh, sporting stories in the Sporting Life newspaper this morning. Oh, so many stories. Uh, the one that is concerning for a majority of uh, Nigerians will be the one on.